Now, E has always been, in the electrical world, electromotive force. That's that pressure to push electrons through a conductor we see on the left measured in volts. So E and V for volts, they're rhyming. So remember that the V is actually E, voltage, pressure. If you got some guy like at the top here, Mr. Ohms, the resistance kind of squeezing that wire with maybe a bad connection, rust, corrosion, whatever, that's going to restrict the flow of the volume of electrons that's measured in current. So R for resistance measured in ohms, that's the R in the equation. I for intensity. They always tell you, you get electrocuted, it's usually that current that does it, it's the amperage. Well, electrocution's a pretty intense experience, I'm guessing. So the I is for intensity, that's measured in amperes, that's the current. It's the math equation. Now don't freak out about math, okay? We do it all the time. Horsepower is what? Torque times RPMs divided by 5252, one of those constant numbers like pi, 3.14. Well, the same thing with Ohm's law. It's like miles per hour, miles per gallon. It's just any other thing you do, a little multiplication division. In this case, if I know the voltage is 12 and I know the resistance is 2, you do the division. 12 divided by 2. One number on top of the other. What should the current draw be? 2 ohms, 12 volts, 6 amps. If I don't know the voltage, but I know the amps and the ohms, I multiply the two numbers together. 2 times 6, my voltage is 12. That's the, the answer. So you actually put your hand on any one of those three points, that triangle, and solve for the unknown by doing simple math division and multiplication. Very easy. Same applies to the rate of work we call wattage. Now, wattage is what a motor, like an electric motor, whether it be a blower motor or a traction motor on a hybrid, it's what it takes to make it work. Or in the case of that light bulb, it takes, let's say, 75 watts to make it work. 10 of them is about one horsepower, by the way. About 760 watts equals one horsepower. So it's a rate of work. So the P, like in horsepower, for the power equation in Watt's law is measured in wattage. And the I and the E, volts and amps, are on the bottom. So if you don't know one, you know the other. The reason I bring it up, if you're wondering, why are we going to 42 volts and hybrids that are two, three, 400 volts? It's to get the amperage down. Think about it, it takes so much work to blow air or to move a car with an electric motor. That's wattage, work, rate of work. If we want to have smaller conductors, smaller cables, lower the weight, increase fuel economy, we're going to make the voltage go up. So just like when Ohm's law, when resistance went up, you look at that bottom line there, the I times E either way, or the E times R, whatever, the, you do an Ohm's law, Watt's law, as the resistance goes up, that current goes down. In this case, as voltage goes up in Watt's law, keeping a constant amount of work being done, wattage, P for power, the current goes down. Therefore, I raise the voltage, do the same work with smaller cables because less current's going through them. A little bit of behind the scenes stuff about how it works, but if you can get your head around these relationships, it will help you visualize the invisible force of electricity that is so much of our diagnostic time discovering what's going on with electrical systems on cars.